Liberty M40. This typewriter has a couple problems. One of the problem is the the space space speed doesn't work properly. Also, some key. Uh, not some sometime uh, every key doesn't work sometime works and then another problem I already uh, took out the screw so if I uh, remove this one you should remove the ribbon first but after remove that I put back the ribbon again to test it. Uh, because uh, also ribbon has the problem uh, even though like uh, black uh, black little bit the top doesn't print and then if we hit the, the red it does not uh, uh, red printing so that means uh, this uh, does not uh, raise up enough so uh, how can I fix uh, first uh, I remove this stuff and then also we can remove the uh, back side of this one uh, like uh, this is a tap tap functions tap so after push this one we can raise down this one like this and then also we can remove the whole uh, carriage it's a heavy there is a screw, right? Uh, we can unscrew this one easily. And then, at the move to the left, we can access the another screw right side. Okay, unscrew this one. Then, for the balance, uh, need to the in the center. And then we can hold the uh, take. Uh, we can take our whole carriage uh, using the two hands. Like this. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. So I let down here. Okay. Yeah. I put the this one on the grass. Right. So this is the uh, main spring. So exactly same with the, like uh, I guess is uh, Olympia uh, SG1 uh, SG3, and then we can uh, access and then look at uh, inside the uh, escapement. So first. Uh, I try to fix the space bar. When I open this one, uh, this uh, uh, escapement is a little bit uh, front and back. It moves freely. So I look at carefully, then I realize it's enough uh, space between here. So this screw. I more uh, tighten, make tighten. After that, that means um, uh, this escapement little bit move to the this side. So yeah, uh, I realize it should be this one move to little bit this side or in the bottom. And uh, uh, if we hit the uh, space key, then you see the some. Something, see, little bit, there is a, you see the little bit movement, right? This one, yeah. See, very little movement, yeah. This one should be more uh, moved uh, backward, this one. That means uh, without enough uh, uh, push this one here, that means uh, it just stop in the in the middle. So either way, I, I at that time I thought either way, it should be a little bit uh, pull for the me, or uh, this one should be pushed back behind. So after uh, uh, make tight this 
button, I mean the screw. Then after that, it's, uh, there is no uh, shaking. That means a very uh, regularly turn. So it's working good. So I, I fix this one using the this screw and then another thing the for the ribbon ribbon raise more up which uh, this is a bar right look at that if you like uh, this this move that means uh, it's raised up this one right so I unscrew uh, this one and then another this one bottom line the I mean the side and then I uh, this part little bit uh, tilt this side little bit and then it's a screw that means uh, if you the any button any any key hit that means uh, uh, this movement a little bit more bigger that means uh, it's a uh, ribbon uh, raise up more so after that it, it was fixed so we can hit uh, i mean the print right now the red stuff red red ink yeah let's uh, reassemble and then uh, let's see some sample typing the capital the ribbon choice color ribbon color which uh, margin release i think a left margin line margin and then for capital this is for the tap and then this is a backspace see like this and then this one is a carry release same thing carry release and then this one is a paper release and then this one this right side carry release and then i think yeah, this one we can pass the margin this one we can uh, stop the margin see yeah you know that this one we can pass the margin okay yeah that's the difference mm, okay this is a margin setup uh, left to right 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 one working good but left one i don't know sometimes work sometimes doesn't work okay and then this side this is a ribbon direction change this one. okay and then for the variable uh, uh, this is a this button is a, i think a whole uh, clear taps whole clear taps okay and then this one for the variable uh, line space after that we can move like this uh, without that uh, we can uh, depending on the this okay then behind you can see the bell and the main spring and uh, tension adjust and then this is uh, each tap uh, the bar stop so to the for the tap okay for the tap uh, you can see like this then uh, we can move uh, like this this side two that means a tap see I show you uh, now if you hit any tap tap key that means a uh, uh, stop around here let's see see yeah that's the so for tap setup we need the manual manually uh, open this one and then manually we can set up the taps for serial number uh, we should unscrew this one, two, three because uh, uh, inside uh, there is a serial number.
Looks like uh, one, two, three, four, zero, three or zero five. Uh, anyway, it, it, uh, I guess it was manufactured uh, 1936 or 1935. Uh, too old so to dry up the feet mm -hmm. we need a new feet okay it's very heavy very uh, heavy and then very straightforward uh, first uh, we need to remove the ribbon to remove this one yeah uh, uh, it's a uh, SM40 I uh, am 40 right M M40 yeah. So someone it's uh, closed here, but this one is uh, open. And then some color is uh, like a uh, military color, green, but this one is uh, black. So all different. So I already show you the we can remove a whole uh, cartridge. There are two screw missing, this one and then this one. So inside there are still uh, screw there, so still it's okay from. Okay, let's see some sample typing. Thank you for watching.